There are good reasons why health officials want us to cut down on salt. And there are good reasons why we shouldn't. We're addicted to salt. That's right, and we not only crave it, in some cases, our bodies need it. The American Heart Association recommends limiting sodium intake to 1,500 milligrams per day for people with hypertension, diabetes, or chronic kidney disease. For the rest of us, the limit is 2,300 milligrams, or roughly one teaspoon per day. It's true that sodium restriction can reduce blood pressure, but the link between salt intake and cardiovascular issues has not yet been established. Salt is good for us. It's necessary for preventing dehydration and for the proper function of cells. Low sodium intake may prompt the kidneys to secrete renin in efforts to retain sodium, which could enhance heart toxicity in hypertensive patients. The state of New York became the first state to require restaurants to disclose the amount of salt in its food. Some experts have applauded the move, and some have critiqued it, calling it costly and unnecessary. To find out what we think, head to our website and download our latest publication on dietary salt and cardiovascular health. For a hard copy, head to Amazon.com. You can find all the links on our website, acsh.org. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our daily newsletters delivered straight to your inbox.